Alley. Well, scammers are targeting Metro Detroiters with old and new tricks. In Monroe County, somebody's calling up people pretending to be a former sergeant with the Monroe County Sheriff's Department. And in Livingston County, thieves are preying on grieving loved ones and trying to trick them out of their money. And 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is joining us live this morning with how the scam works and how it's impacting one local funeral home. Peter? You know, Keenan and Alicia, it's a sick scam to begin with. These scammers are going through local newspapers, going through the obituary section, or going online and looking at the obituaries, using that information to scam those who are then losing uh, their loved ones. And one local funeral home in Livingston County is putting out the alert. Losing a loved one is hard enough, and being taken advantage of is the last thing on your mind. The last thing that you want is your family to be taken advantage of at a time of loss. Todd Bork runs Bork Jennings Funeral Home in Livingston County. One of his clients who had just lost her husband was almost a victim to these scammers and out of her money when a man contacted her claiming to be a funeral home employee. They demanded payment by credit card because the arrangements were not paid in full. The woman was quick to think and knew something was wrong before giving any money to the scammer. But it was the personal details about Boric's client that almost made it convincing enough. She said that he had all the information. He knew my husband's name. He knew my name. He knew a funeral home member name. Bork believes the scammer got the information from the obituary, either online or in the newspaper. So they will find a funeral posting of somebody who passed and they'll do a couple of different things. They'll create a profile as if that person was still alive and try to go and capture money that way. Or they'll go after the family and say, hey, so-and-so owed us money. Melanie with the Better Business Bureau says the targeting of funeral home scams and grieving families are far too common. What can funeral homes do? Just know where your information is going and share with the family that this kind of scam can happen. And for Todd Bork, he just wanted to put the warning out there about this scam so no one falls victim to it. To be the victim of a, of a serial crime or extortion when you're grieving can only amplify your loss experience. So if it sounds like a scam over the phone, the first thing you want to do is hang up and then you want to call the funeral home that you were dealing with and you want to confirm some of the information that the scammer tried to scam you with. And if the funeral home, well, says, well, that is not correct, you uh, definitely dodged a bullet there. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. I mean, it just goes to show you that scammers will stop at nothing to try to get your personal information or your money. And at a time like that, it's just terrible. Peter, thank you for that live update.